Good morning. Welcome to Mr. Brawley's Ag Mechanics class. Today we're going to be talking about shop safety. Many of the things you will see in the shop are found in some of the most hazardous workplaces. The objectives to receive out of this lesson are number one, learn basic lab rules. Number two, the students will identify different types of personal protective equipment used in the ag, ag lab and learn how to use them properly. First off, some basic lab rules. One of the most important are there is to be no horseplay in the shop at all times. Safety comes first. And don't use a tool if you don't know how to properly use it. Accidents should be reported to the teacher immediately. They should be learned before you enter the lab. We're going to go over some basic shop safety equipment. You have your safety glasses. These are to be worn at all times while back in the shop to prevent um, things to flying in your eyes. We have gloves, either welding gloves or leather work gloves uh, that are to be used while cutting or working with hot metal and also welding. When working around well, loud machinery, shop, just you should wear earplugs to time. prevent any damage to your hearing. Swapping. Close-toed shoes are to be worn at all times while back in the shop. Preferably something leather, like a boot of some sort. It is important to wear a long sleeve shirt of some sort while you're back in the shop when you're using the welder. Or Always wear proper eye protection when working in the ag mechanics lab. It can be safety glasses, goggles, or a face shield. Some safety materials you might see around the shop are a fire extinguisher, blanket, and first aid kit. It's important you know where they are and how to use them. Also, color indicators on most safety items around the shop. Red equals danger. Yellow equals caution. Orange equals warning. Green equals safe. And blue is information. Basic machine rules are, unless you have been taught how to use a machine, don't use it. Turn off machines when not in use or during repair. Always use the proper tool for the job. Avoid wearing loose or frayed clothing when in the shop. Be aware of people around you at all times. Remember all of this and you'll be ready to work in the shop. I was six years old, my brother was ten.